White. I'm the Chief Product Officer of Zooks. Great, Mike. Well, I'm super excited. We're here in Vegas. My first ride in a Zooks. Uh, what do you call it? The platform. So it's the Zooks Robo Taxi, is yeah. what we call it. All right, so it yeah. says the big start button on the side. Do here. the honors, my friend. That's all it takes to make That's it, it go. Touch all right. To start your ride. And here we go. Let's do it. Huh. Now, before we get started, if you want to configure your climate. Yep. It's individual climate yes, controls. Sir. I can turn on the air a little bit. Turn the air a little bit. And this little And then I will turn the music down. Oh, oh, and you can actually select your own music. You control your own air. You can play the music if you want. I gotcha. Yeah. All right. And if you hit home, then you'll be able to see how long our trip is. And so what's it waiting for now? Oh, there that we go. That was it. <laughs> let's configure and let's go. So we are here in the parking lot of your Las Vegas uh, operation center? That's correct. So how many people work here? No. We have around 300 people 300 that work people. here. 300 yeah. people, and so these, this is where the fleet sits now for this, Las Vegas. This is going to be our launch city. So we've been testing here for about two years, two and a half years. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, we're really excited to launch this year. And so where are you on that, that roadmap now? You, you are given rides now. We're obviously riding yeah. on public streets. Um, who, who's able to ride? So right now, um, we're taking people hosted by Zooks employees. Okay. Um, and then we will start working with what we call our Zooks explorers. And so those will be folks that will be um, on as customers and we'll be giving them free rides within Las Vegas. Okay. Um, just as we start to introduce the product out. Yeah, as you'll see, when I say introduce the product out, what you'll see is while we're driving there, there'll be a lot of folks taking pictures of the vehicle. They've never yeah. seen it before. So even just introducing this concept of a vehicle with no traditional steering wheel, right. um, there's no driver. So even to your fellow travelers that are driving on the road, this is, this is something wild. It's quite an experience. I mean, it, I love the fact that we're sitting here uh, across from Marissa, who's our camera person from the PR yeah. team, and you could, I mean, for four people, this would be a really great well, way to, to travel. 100%. We'll want to talk about that as we get going. Yeah. But before we get going, we're going to take a right, and this is well, public roads going about 45 miles an hour. Yeah. Pretty busy road. So, it's um, making so we'll go this way, and this is going to start our journey. But, but you said it exactly. I mean, what we want to be able to do is and what the team has done a really nice job of is configuring, configuring the cabin such that you and I are just having a conversation. Right. And in success, at some point, you're going to forget that we're even on a ride. <laughs> Other than we have these beautiful you know, windows on the side here of the, the door panels and glass that we'll be able to take in the Las Vegas Strip, which is pretty cool. And yeah. so this interior and then us being able to not really focus on what's going on the road, but really what's around us and what's happening in here is really the, what we think is going to really transform uh, mobility. Right. And the first thing I notice is how quiet it is. Yeah. I mean, it's an all-electric vehicle, right? So um, there, there's no engine noise. There's a little bit of road noise, but uh, but very quiet. Correct. And, and really, we want this to be your vehicle, right? So in, when our riders, you know, start taking this as you know customers of Zooks, they're the hero. They have the agency of the vehicle. So mm -hmm. as you and I configured the cabin, maybe you'll preset that. Mm -hmm. You'd like it a little bit cooler person's passing this on a legal lane by the way um, but but you'll like it a little bit cooler you want this kind of playlist or maybe you just want to chill out you've had a busy day you've been talking to people all day you want it quiet yeah just put it in quiet mode now it'll be that'll be but it, huh. you'll have real agency over it okay so now we're pulling up to a right this person's sticking out a little bit so we'll weave around them yeah I get right. it. and then hopefully and this probably won't be the nerdiest thing you hear all week but Hopefully you get to turn right on red, because that really truly exercises all four sensors that are going on within LiDAR, radar. Yeah. Um, we have thermal, but also cameras. So it's recognizing it's right. It sees out what's going on with the other agents around us, mm -hmm. and then can make a decision to turn right. This is a big road we're getting on to right now. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Huh. yeah, these are big, you know, I guess in California we call them expressways. Right, so this person's coming up here, and now we're going to see if we get a chance to Break our way into tr into traffic here. Yeah, it's hesitating. Oh, it's hesitating again. Interesting. All right, All right. here we go. Now, again, th this vehicle has no safety drivers. I've been in other uh, competitors with a with a safety driver uh, behind a steering wheel. There's no mm -hmm. steering wheel, but I assume we're being monitored. 
uh, in real time? Yes, all our vehicles are monitored. Yeah, okay. there's always a human in the loop. And so yeah. I think more importantly is if you wanted to talk somebody, you could hit that. You could also hit your help button. Okay. And if you hit that, you can then call Zooks and somebody will answer and ask, mm -hmm. hey, Mike, what's going on? Everything okay? Do you need anything? Um, so we always want to keep a human in the loop. Okay. And we think that's really important for a lot of reasons, but most importantly, just a really better customer experience, just to feel that you have some sort of connection with people as well. So now this is interesting. We're coming up on some construction so, here. Yeah, and this is great because watch as we edge out. So we edge out. This person lets us in now. Yeah, okay. Right? So again, it's being decisive. Huh. That was that was that was a decision we're coming over. Right. Yeah. And I'm sure they weren't sure exactly what this what was happening, but our our turn signal was on. Yeah. So we were making telling them we're coming over. Right. They let us go. If they didn't, we wouldn't have come over. Okay. But we had to make that decision because you can see in the yeah. cam see is there's cones right here that have just popped up. Let's, let's and, see this, these cones coming up right here on our side. So we were that close to this road construction. This seems to be one of the things that has been difficult for the autonomous vehicles to configure around the, the changes that happen yeah. with construction. And you're living in sort of a construction zone, I noticed, on the right over here. Well, it's, it's very dynamic. I mean, we love Las Vegas. This is our launch city. It is very technology forward. Mm -hmm. You know, as you're seeing things like the Sphere and those, right, it's very about attractions and entertainment and all the fantastic resorts that people are coming to, but it's growing. And so with that growth, you're getting a ton of construction and mm -hmm. it pops up dynamically. So um, what we call world changes happen all the time and sometimes without notice. Mm -hmm. Then there will be ones like, um, the F1 race. Yeah, right. So that comes in, and I don't know if you've been to that before, but it reconfigures the city right. because they're driving on the road. And so roads that you would typically drive on, they're shut down for that period right. and, and the setup time to do that. So it's a, it's a really been a great place for us to, to come into as far as a launch city um, from the, a lot of complexities, but also a really great um, technology forward town. Now this is interesting because I'm paying attention to what the vehicles do. And this lane that was to our right here is not a driving lane, no. so it, it drove around. It Correct. looked like it was driving into the middle yeah. of the road, but this is actually not a, a parking lane, lane yeah. and this is a yeah. driving lane. Yeah. Here. Oh. Which is different than Sacramento and other cities. You yeah. don't see this here. They use all three. Hmm. The pod be shared by four strangers or typically not? For launch, no. Okay. Right. We really want to... Um, learn from our customers, mm -hmm. right? What's working, what's not working. Um, we also want to create that really great customer experience and, and, and again, creating that agency with the vehicle that you really feel that maybe this is your second or first vehicle. Mm -hmm. um, and because everyone is the same, they're configured the same, they show up exactly the same, you know exactly what you're gonna get. And so in the future, well, might we have pooling? Of course, okay. right? But I think initially for us, we just really want to launch with customers only. Now, is there room for cargo if I got my suitcases and I'm going to the airport? I don't yeah, see, we don't really have see. any stowage right now. So if you brought in a smaller bag or, you know, a, a carry-on bag, we put it in So there's here. nothing, yeah. there's no trunk or no. trunk to this. No, no. It's just this yeah. space. So it would have to fit in here. So yeah. as it sit, as this configuration sits right now, maybe not the best for a family of four coming home from the airport. Correct. Yeah, yeah and you wouldn't, yeah, you wouldn't, you wouldn't do that. But for our family of four, that's headed to see the Golden Knights hockey yeah. game, going to see the Sphere from a resort. Okay. This is the perfect so because, it's yeah. a little bit different intention yeah. for this vehicle yeah, configuration. This, well, the, the vehicle has four wheel steering, correct. right? And it's bi-directional. That's correct, and it can go crab as well. So, so um, where do those kinds of behaviors and, and capabilities come into play? I mean, they're fantastic in a city. Yeah. They're also fact, fantastic, the bi-directional. Right, where you don't have to pull into a spot and then back out right, hmm. when you're going forward. Um, the other thing that we really interesting is in the pickup and drop offs or portico shares within the resorts, hmm. because those lanes change as dynamically as we've seen some of the the construction. Where if there's an event at a resort, they want ride served ride hill over here, mm -hmm. and in other days they want it over here. And so for us to be able to leverage that and also bi-directionality as things close and open up mm -hmm. is, is really huge for us. So you could crab really quickly you change crab lanes in, yeah. without the same, an yeah. Ackerman steer yeah. And then you vehicle. Think of, yeah, and you think yeah. about even in cities, if you want to, you know, dropping people off safely, you could crab into different spots. It might be harder for other vehicles hmm. to get into. Where it has like to, the valet spot or anything out of the yeah. front of a restaurant. Yeah. Or maybe there's one parking space you don't have you to do it. parallel Don't think about it. Yeah. yeah. 
Headlights are up there now. Brakes are right here. If we're going the other way, they'd flip. Oh, there's it's a mechanical flip for the for the. Yeah. I didn't realize yeah. that. I'll have to well, see that. All those. Yeah, things, yeah. Get out, we'll show you. It's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. And we're keeping track of our ride now on the side. Give a picture. So that's mm -hmm. like we're 18 minutes in to left in our ride. Correct. Mm -hmm. and yeah. With a 3:40 arrival. Yeah. Okay. You can see up on your left, we're starting to approach the Las Vegas Strip. So that's been a big milestone for us in 24, was to, to drive the Strip. Drive the Strip, right? Yeah. And so that was huge um, for the company, and then now just taking customers in 25. So really good momentum. Oh, no. Here we got some pedestrians. You got pedestrians, walking yeah. across, yeah. And the guy took a picture of it. Oh, this yeah. guy up next to us was looking at us. Yeah, they typically take, a lot of folks will take pictures because there's nothing like it on yeah. the road anywhere. Oh, here we go. This guy's taking a picture. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> yeah, there he is. He's like, what the heck is this? And what's the um, what, typical uh, service time frame for the vehicle before it needs to go back and be charged? How long can it operate? We can do about 16 hours. 16 hours? Of driving, yeah. So now, that's you imagine two shifts during the day, essentially, yeah, okay. But if you imagine, like, top offs here and there, you could probably run. Hmm. Right. And the windows makes it a great experience, too. Yeah. Again, at night, it's pretty special. And what's cool is, you know, Las Vegas is pretty, you know, big buildings and resorts and lights and everything. But in San Francisco, and I lived there for 17 years, it's... It's a really interesting view that I never got as a driver or a passenger, again, because you have these floor to ceiling, oh, yeah. um, this glass here to take it all in. Yeah. It's, it's a really cool way to kind of float through the city. Well, it's different because you don't have the normal windshield you would have as a driver because you're looking in over yeah. the past. And we've got the mesh here, as you see, and you can see out, so there's yeah. visibility, but that's not the point. Right. Right? The vehicle's going to drive for you. That's not the point. The point is, this is your space and we want to give you time back to do whatever you want more one of the more interesting places you've done an interview i'd, yeah. I'd imagine yeah uh, you know i mean i don't imagine you sat in any robo purpose-built robo taxis to to talk to folks you've been comfortable hopefully yeah, and, i've been comfortable yeah. you know i mean i think the one example of the one lift driver is i had to listen to his music right blast it. yeah so well that's yeah it's just like you know it's I, I, it's a little bit of serenity on the transportation time yeah. between whatever exactly you're going, so. yeah now we will allow you to play your own music whatever you want to play and we've got full playlists as well um, but if you want it quiet yeah. here we are finishing our, our allow you to do the honors of arriving remain seated Yay! All right. Bob, um, open the doors. That's it. That's a wrap. There we go. Well, Mike. Mike. Thank thanks. you. This is fun. That it's was great a talking fun, to you. Great, great yeah. opportunity. Great trip. And Marissa, thanks for making this happen. Yeah. yeah.